Hi guys, I'm Supercross Boss Bruno Five, and welcome to another video here today. Today we are again at Romans International, one of my favourite places around here. Um, today I've come down to take a look at a few cars, but they've actually got a really good stock here today, so I thought I'd do a little showroom tour for you. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, I know you guys are used to seeing them on uh, my channel from Romans and stuff, but yeah, we're going to start off here with this a Ferrari California T in a very nice. I believe to be Rosso Corsa Red. Stunning indeed. Got an AMG GT. We've got a AMG GT. I think this is the 50th edition. Yeah, edition 50. It says on the uh, little thing there. We've got Twisted Defender. We've got an Urban Velar, which actually looks pretty cool. Not sure about the. Uh, bronzy gold accents around the rear, around the exhaust pipes, but the uh, carbon rear diffuser looks good. Um, yeah, and it's got carbon front bits as well, grills here, here and here, front splitter, and obviously signature urban wheels, very nice indeed. We'll go around to the next car, got a brand new Range Rover SV autobiography. This is very cool. We've got a few brand new Range Rover SVRs as well. So we've got a white one here. These are the Sport SVRs. We've got a couple of blue ones as well. These are all the 2018 facelift models, I believe. Yeah. Okay. The, oh, they've all got what looks to be a carbon fibre bonnet. All three of them here. Be nice if my camera would focus as well. There we go, look. Very cool. And we've got a couple more new 2018 Range Rovers as well. They're just a standard Range Rover here. And this one, it's got four exhaust pipes, but I believe this is also a standard Range Rover autobiography. Looks pretty cool. We come around here, we've got an AMG CC3 AMG Edition 1, I think. Uh, edition 1 Motorsport. It says on the little thing. That looks quite cool. And we've got a C63, just a normal one. Um, swing around here, we've got some 911s. I don't know many much about 911s. It's just a 50th. Ah, oh, this is a 50th. 911 50th anniversary. Ah, there we go. So it's got a little 50th on the badge there at the back. Got a 911 Carrera 4 GTS. I am reading it off the back here. Uh, 911 Carrera S. I actually do like this one a lot though. The wheels and the red look very good together. Got a 911 Turbo. And a Turbo S next to it. So this is the slight facelift model. And then you've got the previous gen. So I believe this is the 991.2. And that's the 991.1. It all gets a bit confusing with Porsche models. We've got a brand new Aston Martin Vantage here, which looks awesome. I've seen a couple of these around, not many. Looks good in white. We've got a DB11 too, which, hey, what can you say? Brilliant car. Swing around here, we've got uh, some sort of Fiat, which looks pretty cool. Uh, out the back, there's not a lot. There's a Land Rover, Defender, an R8, a 720S. And I believe that is an S63 or an S-Class, one of the two. Got a Bentley Continental GTC Speed. It says Speed on the side, I think it's a GTC Speed. GT Speed Convertible, there you go. Rolls-Royce Wraith, it could be a black badge, it could not be. Uh, no, it's not, ah, oh, this is, ah, oh, okay, this is inspired by music. This is the, I want to say Ronnie Wood edition. Yes, it's the Ronnie Wood edition. So this one, I'm not sure what the story behind it is. It's just got, uh, you may or may be able to not be able to see, it says on the headrests there, it's quite difficult to make out, but it says Ronnie Wood on the headrests. Got a Maserati MC Stradale. Gran Turismo MC Stradale, which looks very cool. Got a Bentley Morzan. A Rolls Royce Dawn and a couple of wraiths here as well. 
Sound of got an SLS AMG, which looks awesome. An Aston Martin, I want to say V12 Vantage. No, V8 Vantage S. Yes. It's difficult to tell, but that looks pretty cool as well. SLS. Come through here, we've got another McLaren 720S. Not a fan of the spec on this one. And also, a little design flaw by McLaren there. If it rains, you've got a nice little puddle of water on your wing. And then this is quite cool as well. We've got the brand new Bentley Continental GT. I don't know what it is. Bentley Continental GT, I'm just going to say. That looks really nice indeed. Very nice blue. There's quite a lot in the sort of... I don't know what area you'd call this. The, uh, the back. We're going to go around now to the front of the showroom where they've got some very cool cars indeed. Just starting off here with a McLaren 570S Spider. Now this looks very, very cool. Not got a lot of carbon options and it's also very close to that pillar. Not got a lot of carbon options. Quite cheap actually for what it is. Uh, in Vega Blue. Got a Huracan Performante, which I think looks absolutely stunning in this spec. Black, bronzy wheels, beautiful car. I still need to do a video on this car. I will at some point when I have time um, and when I can actually get access to one fully. Uh, I need to go see my friends down the Lamborghini for that. Got it, uh, the greased of the beast, the beast of the green hell, MG GT, AMG GTR. I can't get my words out today. And the green hell magno paint. This looks awesome. Got a 458 Speciale, which looks pretty cool indeed. We've got a Honda NSX or if you're American, Acura NSX. Got a 488, I think it's just a standard coupe, I don't think it's a spider. Yeah, it's not a spider, it doesn't have the rear of a spider. We've got a GTC4 Lusso. So this is the V12 one. This is not the Lusso T, this is the V12. Awesome, awesome car. We've got a 675LT, which has actually been here for ages. This car I've seen numerous times here. We've got another 720S. This is in a very nice red. It's called Memphis Red, it says. Yeah, that looks quite cool in the red. Got another 675LT, standard coupe as well. Lots of carbon fibre all over this one too. Got a Huracan Spider. Very nice yellow. And then we have another R8, but this one is a little bit different. It's called, it's an Audi Sport Performance Parts R8 Edition. Apparently there's only five of these in the UK. Um, differences are, well, You've got the different wheels, the Audi Sport wheels, you've got all the like canards and uh, extended, front, extended front splitter. Uh, you've got carbon fibre wing mirrors, extended uh, side skirts with the Audi Sport logo down here. You've got a different rear diffuser which looks very menacing indeed. Um, with these like kind of side vents down here and stuff. And you've got the very nice little neat wing here with the Audi logo and Audi Sport logos all over it, which is very, very cool indeed. I have to say, these wheels look awesome. I will do a full video on this car for you guys. Got the uh, 5.2 litre V10 in it as well. Very, very cool indeed. So that is the sort of outside of the showroom. We're going to now go take a look at inside because um, they have a lot of very, very special cars in there. So yeah. Let's go inside. So we are inside now. It uh, could be quite quiet because there's obviously business going on as usual during the, uh, during the day. But we're going to start off here with this Ferrari 430 Coupe. We've got a 488 Spider here, which looks awesome. 
a 911 Turbo exclusive series. They've had two of these in recently. I've not seen the other one, but this car looks absolutely stunning. Paintwork is awesome. Lots of carbon fibre all over it. We've got a Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster, which looks awesome in the turquoisey paint. Coming around here, we've got a Vanquish Zagato Roadster. This thing looks unbelievable. They've had a few of these here for sale. We've also got a Vanquish Zagato Coupe here too. How's that for a, an entrance as you walk in past the Romans floor mat? You're greeted by two of the rarest Astons currently on the market. We're now going to come around to this bit. I've been given exclusive access into this part here. So we're going to come up. We've got a Carrera GT. Now this isn't actually a standard factory colour. It was painted by Porsche in Reading, I believe. Um, but it's not actually a standard Porsche colour. It was a, the original car is in GT Silver. Um, the original colour is GT Silver. It's been repainted in slate grey. It says on there. But this looks awesome. It's like a Nardo-y grey, but it's obviously slate grey. I'm not sure what number. I think it's 707 out of the 1200 or 1600 built. How many there are? That looks very, very cool indeed. We've got a very nice LaFerrari here in, I believe it's Rosso Fuco. Yep. Very deep red with the matte black wheels. Looks absolutely stunning. We've then got a Bugatti Veyron. 16.4 very nice indeed a left hand drive example but still looks awesome under the lights here that interior will never ever get old that is a beautiful beautiful car so look the interior of the laugh we then come round past the Veyron to well not just one but two McLarens McLarens two latest hypercars so we've got P1 and the Senna. We'll go around the Senna in a second. First of all, the P1. Very nice volcano red. This is an absolutely stunning example. Not in race mode, but it doesn't matter. Sounds incredible. I have to say, I do like the silver wheels with the carbon fibre contrast on the red paint. It looks awesome. Loads and loads of carbon fibre everywhere you look, there is something carbon. The interior of this thing is beautiful. And then we come on to McLaren's latest hypercar, the Senna. Now this is awesome to see in a showroom. Romans International have had two Senna's for sale now. I didn't get to see the first one, it was sold the day I got here. But uh, this is the second example, and this is an absolutely stunning, stunning example. We've got black paint with gold wheels, and like sort of, they're like almost yellowy, goldy accents all over the car. It really does, it works, it's nice. The interior, luckily the window's down here so we can see, there's lots of Alcantara in there. But Thick seats with the pads on them. Yeah, very, very cool indeed. This is true hypercar, race car for the road. Got all the carbon fibre around the front, all on the uh, bonnet as well. And then this wing have you ever seen a wing like this on a road car before? I very, very much doubt it. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful car. And it looks awesome here under the uh, under the lights of Romans. That's very, very cool to see indeed. I mean, the entire showroom's got a lot of beautiful cars in here. Just 
turn you around again. But that is going to be the end of this video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what you think of the spec on this center, because I think it's absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you in the next video.